Sit up. Woo! Should we put some... <laughs> what do I do with this thing? No, I love it. Please insult me as much as you want. It's the precision for me. Okay, chef. You ready? Yeah. Guys, we have aprons today. This is how you know a French chef is in our midst. I'm never this professional. Okay, so... Welcome back to my channel. I am honored to have Chef Rudy. Thanks for having me. Of course. Hi guys. From my favorite restaurant in LA, which is called Le Great Outdoor. It's incredible. It's in, what area is it in? Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Santa Monica and Sotel. And Chef Rudy and his partner Pedro came and cooked for myself and the Bloom team recently, and it was insanely good. And my favorite dish was the peanut butter chicken. I have been asking Chef Rudy for this recipe for weeks. I've yes. asked multiple times and he said, let's wait. I'll show you how. So here we are, and we're gonna show you guys how to make Chef Rudy's peanut butter chicken. Let's do it! I'm the sous chef today. Okay, so for this recipe, we need a lot of spice to marinate the chicken. So we have curry, paprika, coriander, Caribbean chili, curry paste, and sriracha. We're gonna start by cutting the chicken. Do I do it or I do it? Okay, you start, and then I, I can start help. to continue. Yeah, okay, we have so an we entire have chicken. And Mary's chicken, organic. Mari's chicken. Yeah, Mary's chicken. Very happy chicken, happy life, well fed. 10 okay. out of 10 life. So we're gonna use the dark meat only, not the breast. So we're gonna get rid of those two pieces. Okay. And then we're gonna marinate the chicken. So is this what a drumstick is? Yes. I drumstick. love drumsticks. Chef Rudy, my fans have questions for you. So as we cook, I'm gonna be asking you questions. Yes. They were very excited to see you on. So you just said that this was like a high quality chicken. Yes. How do you find the American ingredients versus what you would find in France? American ingredients are very bad compared to European ingredients, to be honest. I would say European products are way more healthy than uh, American products. It's almost like you have to put in extra effort to find good ingredients in America. Yes, you only can bet on the farmer's market. I only recommend to buy veggies out of the farmer's market. We love a farmer's market. Okay, so now you're removing the meat. Yes, yeah, so I'm deboning the leg of the chicken. Make sure to wash your hands to respect the product. Every time we cook, uh, as a chef, we know that we take a life. Mm -hmm. right? So this chicken was happy. We have to make it as beautiful as we can to respect it. I agree. Have you ever been hunting before? I never hunt in my life. I love to fish, but I never hunt. Do you hunt? No, no. Why not? Do I look like a hunter to you? You, you don't look like a hunter. But... <laughs> Where did you learn to cook? At what age? So I started cooking when I was 16 years old in a three, three Michelin star restaurant in Strasbourg in my hometown. Where is Strasbourg in France? Strasbourg is on the east side. Okay. So it's in the border with Germany. So in my house is basically 10 minutes by bicycle from Germany. So we have a lot of influence from the from the German. So interesting. I feel like in Europe you just get to experience so many more cultures because you're surrounded by other countries and people yes. and different types of food. Europe is way older than America. Yeah. Right? We have trees older than America. Exactly. So what would you say? Like what style of cooking were you trained in? French style. A lot of technique. A lot of long, slow cooking, sauces, mm -hmm. meat, ragu, you know, this kind of thing. Very yeah. rich, like a lot of butter, mm -hmm. a lot of cream. Flavorful. Flavorful, but not very healthy. Yeah, but still with the good ingredients. That makes so much difference. So since I moved in California, I changed all my cooking style to a very healthy. Right, so I feel like at your restaurant, you have such a good fusion between California style and French. Exactly. Tell me when I can help, because so far I've done nothing. Okay, so you will have to peel the onion. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry my eyes out. It's, it's okay a... to be a little bit uh, emotional today. Yeah, honestly, my emotions are high right now. You're bringing up a lot for me. Onion. You have the head and you have the butt. You keep the butt alive, you cut the head. Okay, so we're beheading the onion. Yes. Honestly, I needed to learn this because I've been peeling onions probably incorrectly. Okay. Now I'm gonna make it stable. Okay. Like this. So where do you shop? For groceries? Yes. Whole Foods, Ear One, you know Ear One, yes. and Farmer's Market. I spend a lot of my money on food, on groceries. It's, uh, I think, the best investment you can make. Yeah, pay now, pay later. Yes. You're gonna be healthy, you're gonna be happy, Wait. you know, you're gonna yeah. escape the depression, you're gonna... All those things exactly. Things, so. Okay, so now we're gonna have to dice the onions. Okay, now I'm really paying attention now because I need this. Okay, so that, you will have to practice a lot of number. Oh my god! I saw this on TikTok, guys. Okay, so should I try that with this one? Yes, I would love you to try. I need goggles. Oh, I see. Okay, guys, I look like that's a amazing. I'm tired by Chef Rudy. Do you think Kendall Jenner could do this? Who? Absolutely. Who? Who's this? So you can fry this if you oh. make, and you fry it, it become a flower. You know the onion. It's an onion flower. Fry? Exactly. A blooming. Oh. Oh, yeah. Not the product. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic? You wanna cry? No, I'm, I'm good. Easy. Yeah. Easy. What do you mean? 
team. You feel one, I feel one. Okay, brush. Brush. Guys, this is where the weights come in handy. This is why we go to the gym. Do you like garlic? Love garlic. There's really nothing I don't like, food-wise. It's not very good. How about you? Same, I love everything. If it's cooked well, everything is good. Yeah. Do you eat frogs? Uh, it's not my favorite. Oh. It tastes like chicken, actually. I you haven't know. had it. Never it's had the it. one thing I'm scared of. I've had escargot, I haven't had frogs. <laughs> Guys, I know the most random words in French. When Chef Rudy was here last time, I just kept saying random words to him. But we're learning, you know? Actually, you should teach me French while we do this. Je suis d'accord. On devrait parler que français. Merci. Beaucoup. I don't know what I just <laughs> We're gonna end up on French TikTok. Is this a whole clove? This is a whole clove. That's a thick one. So... So you're essentially just crushing them. Yes. Just crush them. Okay, well, I'll let you crush the garlics. What's one ingredient everyone needs to have at home? Olive oil. 100%. I would say this guy, Filippos. Yeah, this looks good. So Filippos is from Greece, it's organic. So I know the producer, I know people who make this olive oil, so I can guarantee that the, the best quality and very healthy olive oil. You know the producer? I know the producer. So we import that from Greece and we serve it at the restaurant. You guys use the best ingredients? Yes, because it's easier for us. So when you have good ingredients, it's gonna be good. You can keep it more simple. Exactly. At the restaurant, we only cook on fire. Today, we don't have a fire because we tried to have a barbecue inside the house of Mary, but it didn't work out, so we're gonna cook on the cast iron. Unfortunately, I had to say no yeah, to having a fire in no. my home. How fast do you, the chefs at your restaurant have to move? The fastest they can. Really? Yeah, they have to be very fast. Very high stress. Not stress, very smart. Work smarter, not harder. Exactly. That applies exactly. to everyone. I think so too. Okay. okay. I've smashed the garlic. You smashed the garlic. We're gonna cut two Calabrian chili. So we're gonna cut this very small. Okay. Put it with the garlic, and then we're gonna start the marinated for the chicken. Then we're gonna do the sauce. Let the chicken marinate it for a few hours, four or five hours. Okay. And then we're gonna cook it. What are we gonna do for four or five hours? Drink wine? Drink wine, talk about life, about struggle. Now we're gonna watch a, a French movie. Okay, Ratatouille. Do you like Ratatouille? I honestly love that film. It's a very good movie. I know it's cheesy, no pun intended, but... It's cheesy? Why? It's not cheesy. I think, I think Ratatouille describes uh, very well the, the chef life okay. and being a chef in Paris. Really? Yeah. So it's accurate? I think so. So you were a chef in Paris at one point? Yes. I was chef at uh, Joël Robuchon for a few years and, uh, and that was uh, life changing. Tell us like why? Why was it life changing? Wow, because you work from 6am to 1am non-stop. Uh, you cook for all the celebrities, you meet people from around the world. So, yeah, it was a, a real pleasure to work there. Okay, I'm chopped. Next step. Okay. We have the garlic, onion, Calabrian chili. We're gonna marinate it the chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna let you put all of this in the bowl. Yep. I feel like I'm on Gordon Ramsay. Do you know who that is? I, I know Gordon Ramsay. What do you think of him? I think he's a very, very good chef. He's from where I'm from. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what you asked me? Yep. One spoon of coriander, one spoon of paprika, and one spoon of curry. Ooh, easy, okay. So fun. Lots of color. I feel like that's how you know it's good. Yeah, it has to be very colorful, very alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, question for you from the fans. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Ladies? I'm on the market, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> So now we will have to mix it. I suggest you to put gloves on for your beautiful nails. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. It's almost like I got trained in France. Massage. 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 So a little bit of lemon. Massage well, okay. and we're gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours. The best is to do it the day before. Do you leave it in the fridge to marinate? Yes. In the fridge. Okay, just checking. So that's amazing. So guys, this recipe is gluten-free and dairy-free. For all my girls who are also gluten-free, dairy-free, this is perfect. Sauces? Sauces. Let's go. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Put half of it on it. Half of what? Half of the... Whole jar? Half of the whole jar. Maybe one, one third of the whole jar. Okay, we'll make it a little healthier. Could you do this with almond butter if you wanted? Yes. So you must go through hundreds of these. Yes. Cocoa milk, chili paste, yellow tea, curry paste, and a little bit of almond. Guys, this is our dairy substitute. So instead of butter today, right? Yes. We're using coconut milk. Yes. Hot girls are using coconut milk. Hot boys are using coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> chili paste, one spoon. Okay, one spoon. Am I contaminating the ingredients? No. Use a chef. Okay. What is your favorite French meal? Yeah. Yeah. A la royal. Something royal. It's very yes, yeah, it's royal. So it's been created in the 1865-ish years. And so it's a, uh, how do you call the rabbit uh -huh. who run very fast? Oh, oh, a hare. A hare? A hare. 
Okay, so right ahead. So this is a bougie meal. It's a very bougie meal. Like this is an expensive ass meal. Yes, expensive, takes time to cook, long technique, long process, but it's amazing. Mix? Mix. Oh wow, this is gonna be good, I can tell. So it's a little spicy. If you guys like spiciness, you can add more chili. Mm -hmm. If you don't, put a little bit less. You can balance with the coconut milk. Do you go to the gym? I go to the gym. What do you do at the gym? I work out. Give us your routine. <laughs> Only push-ups, some abs, a lot of running, a lot of squats. You know? Do you feel like there's more of a fitness culture here than in France? Yes. In France, we love smoking, drinking red wine. Uh, yeah, it's just great. It's a different mindset. Which is know? a sport in itself. Exactly. Okay, what do you think of the consistency? I think it's perfect. <laughs> now we're gonna do skewer, we're gonna cook the chicken, and we're gonna plate it. Chicken's ready. Four hours later. Skewer, gloves. Oh my god, and then we're gonna put it in the skillet. So we pick on one side. Like this? Yes, perfect. And push to the bottom. Yes. Okay, we got our skewers. What would you say is your signature dish? Truffle spaghetti. Oh, okay. That's so, a good one. Very elegant product as a truffle with a very familiar uh, dish, which is a spaghetti. So that's Comfort and elegance. Exactly. That would define it. Okay, you start the fire. These are heavy. So what kind of pan is this? That's an iron skillet pan. So when you buy a pan at the shop, you have to make sure it's very heavy and it's thick. So it has to be very thick for the heat to go all around it without burning. So if you have a very thin pan at home, don't use it anymore. It's just gonna burn everything. So I should throw out all my pans? I think so. We start the fire, we're gonna let it heat okay. slowly. We're gonna put olive oil, salt, pepper, heat on one side, nice caramelization. Okay. So the goal is to very make a nice caramelization on one side, flip it, and then we reach the perfect point of cooking. Do you want me to olive oil it up? Uh, please. How much? Perfect. So if you want, you can put some salt and some pepper on. One thing I feel like a lot of people are afraid of health is they think salt's bad and that's not the case. If you use a very good salt, yep. it's very good for you. The issue we have is that all the industrial over salt their product because it's good for the conservation. So it's a preservative, the salt. For sure, if you buy everything from the industrial, it's gonna be very bad for you, but if you decide how much salt you wanna put in the chicken, yeah. you have control. Mm -hmm. So, it's hot, so you don't want the oil to smoke. So as soon as the oil smoke, that means the oil is burning. So you don't want that. You Isn't want... that bad for you when it it's burns? Bad. It's bad, it's very bad. Same, uh, everything's fried, it's yeah. bad. We can put the skewer on the pan. Like... Perfect. <laughs> So we're gonna leave it like this until it gets caramelized. Ready? Ready. So now one side is ready caramelized, flip them. Okay. We're gonna cook the other side. And what I love to do when you're starting the other side is to put some lemon with uh, the stew. Does it kind of grill the lemon too? Yes. And then you can use it? Okay. Yes. Some olive oil and you let it cook. Gorge. How much longer do we have? I would say four minutes each side. Oh, so how long total are we cooking the chicken? Eight to ten minutes. Okay. So we do it on the iron skillet today, but I recommend to do it on the barbecue. So it's a beautiful Sunday. Good Sunday summer dish. recipe. Exactly. The chicken is cooked, we have the lemon, we're just gonna put some rosemary under the chicken. So I'm gonna hold the chicken, we put the rosemary, and I put the chicken under. It's like wow. a little bed for it. And now you can smell. Oh my god. So you can smell the rosemary, you can smell the lemon, everything. So, so much flavor. Yeah. Wow. I'm so excited because I want presentation tips so I can wow Greg. You take the pot? Yeah. How do we know when I'm an advanced chef? You're gonna feel it. Okay. This is some nice healthy fats for us too. You like almond? Yeah. You? I love almond. One question the fans had was what was your favorite American meal? If you have one. I love a burger. Okay, who does the best burger in LA? I have a, I have my answer, what's yours? I love in and out Ah! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I love in and out love... Not what I expected! Yeah, I know. Have you been to Dudley's? Yeah, I've been to Dudley's Market, yes. Really good burger. Very good burger. Okay, I'm ready. We play it? So, we do one each, okay? Yes. So the idea is that the chicken is the masterpiece. Yeah. So we're gonna put the chicken in the center of the plate. Okay. This is for advanced chef only. I wanna straighten out my stick. Your stick looks better than mine. How did you do that? I just break it. So now we're gonna put some sauces. So for the sauces... So this is the peanut butter moment. Then you're gonna make a circle. 
Oh, okay, that just elevated things. That just took us to a different level. I feel like it's a little bit of like a dance, like that? Yes, you have to be confident. Okay. You're doing great. Circle? Yes, you don't stop the circle, never stop. Yeah, you go for it, yes. Perfect. Maybe one more okay. in the center. Amazing. <laughs> So now one lemon. Yeah, it's like a balance. Like you need to have yes. a balanced plate. And don't put too much in the plate. Microgreen. So good for you. Very good for you. On the top of the skewer. Where do you get microgreens from? The farmer's market. Flowers. This is very creative. I enjoy this. I kind of don't want to do more. What do you think? Uh, as much as you want. Wait, one more actually. This one. Boop. Some almond. So it's always good to have some crispy in a dish, you know? Yeah. The almond gonna break the tenderness of the chicken. I mean, I would be happy to receive this. And we finish with a little bit of sea salt. Is this your favorite sea salt? That's my favorite sea salt. Smoked sea salt. Okay, I'm gonna try this. A little chili because you know what? They are beautiful, they are red. Yeah. And you put chili on the sauce, so that makes sense. Yeah. This is like a whip art. Oh my gosh. Thank you, chef. Thank Merci. you. Merci. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Should we go try it? Yes, we should. Oh my god. I'm so excited. It's my favorite. How would you recommend eating this? With your hand. Okay. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. With a little lemon. Just as I remembered it. If you guys make anything at home, it should be this. You smell the rosemary? Yep. I taste it. I feel like if you have someone over for a date, blow them away. Yes. If you want to impress your date. Peanut butter chicken. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Chef Rudy. Thank you, Fanny. For taking the time. Thank I know you. you're very busy. Let us know in the comments what you want Chef Rudy to teach us next. I feel like this could be a whole series of recipes. This was a 10 out of 10. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank you, guys.